Hey, what's up guys? It's Slime103 here, and man, playing on 16 by 9 is so weird. But anyways, we're back to our bread and butter on another Seek map, Hide and Seek Abandoned House, created by Killman. It's another pretty good creation, another house. There are a lot of houses now, but uh, yeah, this is a good one, created by Killman. Let's get into the secrets. So, starting things off, we are in the Seeker's house, and nothing really to go on in here, but if you go to the back or around the corner, we have a little place you can go in right here. You can sit in here, and then you can also go through that wall over to this area, and you can go out right here by pressing E. Pretty nice, pretty nifty. If we go back here, it's not back here, right here, we have another secret, and uh, you can just get behind the bookshelves. You know, pretty good. We have some bushes back here that are uh, pretty uh, reliable for uh, easy escape. But continuing on outside, we have a truck you can go inside of, and we have another truck you can go inside of. Hey, is that Vertigo? <laughs> and uh, yeah, you can just go in there. More bushes over there. A balloon. Very nice. And let's go inside. So I think I'm going to start things off going from basement to the top. I don't know why I feel like showing you this, but uh, this makes a breaking vent noise. If you, yeah, I don't understand that. But uh, that's there. Let's speed it up. Go over here. We got the vents. Ow. Ow. You can come up here and kind of just sit here and try your friends, and then uh, you can't actually get out right here. So uh, it's just pretty much for the troll purposes only. But coming downstairs, we're in the basement. You can go inside of this little box and go inside of this wall. You can go up here. You can go through this thing. Yeah, we'll just go this way. And you go into the secret tunnel, and then we have the closest thing to a meme vent. This right here. And you come out over here. Let's see, yeah, you can go in this one. Uh, nothing going right there. Got another little room. There's lots of trap rooms in this map. Like uh, places you can go that are really just traps. You can go in this pillar. And, uh, let's see supposed to be a wine rack room, where is that? Over here, yeah. We got wine racks, and you can kind of sit in the corner back here. Uh, can't go... Can't go in that thing, but... You break the vent, and you'll end up back here. That's pretty much the basement. So let's go back. To the front of the house. Where are we going? Alright, let's reorient ourselves. Oh! Let's go over here. This pillar, you can go inside of it. And that's kind of a part of the outside. Let's go back to the front of the house though. Boom. We are now at the front of the house. And if we come in the kitchen, we got... Oh, close that. We got a, like a smoke detector. I don't know why I'm showing you that. We can also go in this stove thing right here. Oven, I mean. You can go through here. With a little trash can. And my favorite spot, you can go in the refrigerator. One of uh, Killman's signatures at this point. I love those spots. And you can also go into this room. And uh, yeah, it's basically the kitchen. You can go underneath the stairs. And it brings you outside. And uh, let's go over here. If you go almost up the stairs halfway, you can go into this uh, area. And then you can drop down into the restroom. And you can go back here behind this false wall as well. And uh, there's like uh, the uh, what do you, what do you call the sister secret to that secret right there. You can go right above the bathtub. 
And uh, can also go outside of the house right there. Very nice. Wait, why is the tower... The towel... Oh, this is not a shower, it's just a bath. I see. Can go... Through this wall right here as well. Is this something? That looks weird. Anyways, you can go right here as well. Very nice. And uh, into this room. Nothing going on much right there. Got a little ladder. Oop. There we go. Can go outside right there. You can go in this thing. And uh, all right, you can go on that bookshelf, just not from this angle. That's a little bit tricky to get into. I'm gonna be honest. That took me a while. Um, the first time. There's like this little dark room back here. You can go in here. Uh, can you, yeah, you can jump up here. And, uh, you can jump up there. Yeah. <laughs> you can also go right here and go underneath it. Can't really activate anything right there. Can, uh, crouch jump. And go above the bookshelf. Very nice. So you got a clock right here, and uh, that's the outside. Ah, here. Go through this wall, and we're into the game room. This is the bathroom, for a point of reference. And you can also go into this little printer fax machine thing. And uh, yeah, I think that's basically... Oh wait, there's this one right here. You can jump in right here. This is a double secret. Secret on top of another secret going on right here and uh yeah that's basically the downstairs moving on to the upstairs or the, rather the second floor really we got this cool arch room there's like random pictures i think those are like i don't know what they are i think some of them are like youtube people's i, I really don't know but in this room we have a secret which you cannot enter and we also have this bookshelf which will bring you in here. This leads outside, and uh, this way leads to a closet. Yeah. All right, where are we? There. We are right here. Kind of a little bit confusing. You can also go up here, and uh, you can actually go through this. Like, you can see that I'm clipping through this. I don't know if uh. This is meant to be clipped that way. I think you're supposed to be go able to go through, but I'm not sure. Basically, it's a trap room, though. Alright, you can go in here. And, got another secret right here. Another trap room. And, uh, you can also go through this bookshelf. Into this area. You can go into the crate. And, there's another room behind this bookshelf. It's super dark. Can't really see too well. Go through this. Go under these stairs. And uh, something that reminds me of. Eh, we'll skip it for now. Got a YouTube gold play button. Very nice. And uh, we got a secret right here. A little wall you can go through. A nice camera. High definition quality, obviously. And uh, some uh, servers, maybe. You can go in here though, by the way. Uh, before we leave the second floor, this is the way to the roof. I do believe it's the only way. Uh, I couldn't find anywhere else. But uh, yeah, that's the way to the roof. Alright, going back into this, like, I don't know what that room is. They'll call it the video room. It's a pile of money. You can go in here as well. And uh, that's the second floor. On to the uh, third floor, we have the little troll vent. A bunch of luggage you can run through. Uh, some laundry machines. Can't go into that crate. Wait, can you go in this crate? Yes, you can go in this crate. And you can go through these crates. They're boxes. You can go all the way through, and you go into this room. And if you want to go back, we got a room, or a wall you can go through right there. And in this room, this is a bathroom. 
we have whoa and we're back and uh yeah that was really weird so anyways you can go into this room right here and uh yeah that was really random i don't know why that happened perhaps just decided to kill itself another bathroom though you go over here and into this room and you can go into this thing Got a nice radio playing and some music oh yeah and uh, you can go outside as well. Can you go out to the no, you can't go to the roof that way. No, uh, yeah, I think that about does it, guys. You can actually see the outside or like the void rather. Rip fraps, guys. Rip fraps. Yeah, the void kills your frame rate, and therefore it kills fraps. Well, that's uh, that's pretty terrible. You know, don't want to go killing fraps there. Kill man, please fix that. <laughs> or the frame rate for that matter. But there are some secrets that I did forget to show you guys, so it's kinda kinda good that that happened actually. Stairs are right here, and this drops you down into this little like pillar in the center. That's a pretty decent secret, but there is also my favorite secret. You guessed it, another drop down. And you drop down in here. And you can just kind of sit in here and stare at people as they walk by. And you can also stare at people above you so you know how to escape. And boom, you drop down like a ninja. And that's the most amazing secret on this map. Therefore, it's my favorite. <laughs> also, we have a uh, future secret, possibly. It uh, basically looks like an incomplete secret. Or maybe it's... Now, it was too OP or something. I, I don't know what was going on here, but it looks like a secret. There's no way in or out. So, therefore, if it does become a secret, you guys know who told you about it. Alright? Good. Don't look at the void. Also, we have possibly the best secret on this map. It's called sitting on the roof. Right here. It's the only way that they'd find you is if they like come to the outskirts of the map. I know, that's why I mentioned those bushes in the beginning, because those are some OP bushes. Basically, this corner is also very OP, because, you know, they just don't come looking over here. You know what I'm saying? Alright, so that is basically this, uh, this hide-and-seek map. Seek abandoned house, buy a kill, man. Great map. You know, a lot of houses at this point. But, you know, if it's good map, keep it coming. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this video, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more hide-and-seek content. And peace.